Honeywell includes an application called Launcher, which allows you to whitelist certain applications on the scanner so that the user can only access those certain applications and maybe even be able to toggle certain features like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on or off or make other settings if you so choose. So this is a great way that an enterprise can protect its device, the edge of its network, so that users can only be doing what they're supposed to be doing, keeps them focused, and so forth. So all Honeywell devices come with the launcher application. Some devices, such as the CK65 shown here, even come pre-licensed. So it's loaded, installed, as well as licensed. So we have just revealed all our applications. Here, the launcher application has this orange or yellow icon with the padlock over it. So we'll select this. You'll notice that everything is grayed out, which just means that the launcher application is, is not uh, active. So we, if we scroll to the bottom, go to status, turn it on, but, and then choose OK here to enable it, now this overlay happens and it's asking for a username and password. The default is always admin and admin. Sometimes it may prompt you to change it. So um, you'll notice here there's a blue bar. In order to see other apps that are here, you have to swipe from right to left rather than up and down. First thing we want to do here is let's select our applications that we want to whitelist. So we'll go to settings, scroll down, go to application mode. You can choose single or multiple. Here I'll choose multiple. And then user mode, uh, I'll choose single. And now it's asking us to whitelist. So I will choose the clock. And actually, we want to swipe right to left and then choose MSS software, our application. So now we're just going to whitelist two applications. Then we're choosing next at the bottom right corner. And uh, we do want to enable Wi-Fi. So if you don't choose that, uh, Wi-Fi would be turned off. But we are not uh, checking the boxes for toggle or settings because we don't want our users to be able to turn it on or off or be able to select different SSIDs. Um, we, I don't like Bluetooth for my uh, environment, so I'm not checking that. I'm not enabling the SD card um, or anything else here. But I am going to choose this last option, which is easy config, which allows me to create programming barcodes for the scanner so that even if the launcher application is enabled, uh, I can create barcodes that, for example, might change the, the brightness of the screen or something. I can scan that and it would take that setting. If this is not uh, enabled, then the scanner would not take that setting. So we'll just click finish here. Okay. And in order for it to work, now we just have to uh, log out of the admin settings. And then the net effect here is you see just the two icons or applications that were enabled during the whitelisting process. And then you can also see here that the uh, settings, um, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, if you go to settings, you know, you can't really do anything. You can't change Wi-Fi, you can't change anything else, okay? So it keeps people out of the Chrome browser, keeps people out of YouTube and, and that type of thing. So all we can do here is launch your application and take inventory.